guys, welcome to today's video. It is going to be another bullet journal video. You guys seem to be really enjoying these ones so I continue to do them monthly. For the month of May, I decided to go with a purple theme because I don't know why but I just like associate May with purple. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm not going to do a really long intro. Let's just get on with it. So to start off with the usual page that I always do, um, I'm just doing a little quote and I actually love how this one turned out, I think it looks so pretty. Um, so it just says, don't wish for it, work for it, which is quite relevant seeing as I'm doing A-levels at the moment, so a nice bit of revision motivation there. And then I'm using my Tombow brush jewel pen thing to do this. I use a small side to outline it and then the big side to do the down strokes and then I'm just using a silver gel pen just to make these little triangular shapes on the side. For the my monthly overview page I just do this pretty much the same every time um, except I obviously do a different like flower or whatever I'm really feeling that month. This time I did this purple poppy and then I'm using the same pen to write May on it and it kind of isn't very clear obviously because it's black going on to dark purple so I just outlined it with a silver pen and I think it ended up looking really pretty I really like how this month turned out I'm not the best at art but I don't know I enjoy doing it so I feel like it doesn't really matter and now moving on to my monthly page I'm using a fine liner in 0.5 just to do the lines and they are six by seven the boxes and then i'm writing may and then just filling in all of the days i decided i actually didn't like how the days turned out so i just covered them up with a little bit of paper i just felt like the black was a bit too harsh so yeah, I don't really 100% like how this page turned out, but it's fine. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so even when it looks okay, I don't always like it. Um, and then I'm just doing this little YouTube tracker, and yeah, I find that really nice to do that just to see where I'm at with my YouTube channel each month. I prefer to do a bigger calendar layout because I don't really have anything else to put on my May page, so this works really well for me. I decided to put my habit tracker and my mood tracker on the same page. I did this in February and I really liked it so I just decided to do it for May as well. And I'm writing habits and moods at the bottom and then it's pretty simple really. Just adding a little bit of detail and then I wrote down all of the different things I want to do and everything like that. And now moving on to my expense tracker. This is also working well for me so why change it if it works for you? <laughs> And then moving on to the last page of this one, I'm just creating these boxes which take up most of the page. And I did make some mistakes so I decided to just use some of these stickers. Then I just used the stickers to cover up the mistakes. I think it ended up looking really nice. I really like the purple in contrast to the green. So I might carry on doing that throughout the month of May. And yeah, this is really simple. So I'm just doing a next week column and I also added a to-do list on this in the end as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, we're really close to 31,000 which I'm so grateful for, I feel like I just really am enjoying making videos at the moment even though I can't make that many of them. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye guys!